Welcome back. The Department of Fisheries is applauding the efforts of turtle rescuers in the Prale area. On Sunday, a leatherback turtle was rescued after being entangled in CMOS lines in that community. Fisheries officer Yvonne Edwin says there are many lessons to be learned from the incident. Turtles are coming under increased threat from lines at CMOS farms. According to the Department of Fisheries, Sunday's incident was the third such encounter with a leatherback turtle. The ordeal was caught on video and has made the rescuers look like heroes as they knew exactly what to do under the circumstances. Fisheries officer Yvonne Edwin said the efforts by the men to free the turtle were commendable. The rescuers were aware that it was the close season. The turtle fishery is currently closed from January 1st. The season has been closed. We are currently in the nesting period which runs from March to November and usually May, June is the peak time where we would see turtles coming up to nest. So this is actually in keeping with this nesting period where you would see a number of turtles making their way to the shoreline to nest. We have been getting reports um, so far this year and we encourage persons to continue making those reports when they observe or they see any turtle activity happening on a beach around St. Lucia. One of the reports received was from the community of Lavery, where a turtle got entangled in a CMOS plot. According to the fisheries department, that turtle was slaughtered. Edwin reminds those who see these encounters to report the incident and to assist where possible. Again, the department wants to applaud the efforts of those rescuers, applaud them for their time and their effort. The fact that they knew it was the close period and an important message also, they felt that if that turtle had encountered any other person or if it was in the night, especially, that that turtle, given the value of its meat, may have been slaughtered and, and probably out there um, it would have been a sale now. And so it is something that the department, we really need to continue to reinforce the message that the fishery is closed and anyone encountering a turtle should be aware of, of that. According to reports, it took about 10 minutes to free the turtle, which offered no resistance. For the Hot 7 News, Nisha Charles reporting. St. Vincent and the Grenadines continues to require and receive assistance amid eruptions of the last Sufra volcano. The most recent assistance came from Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. The government of Japan, through the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, is joining the list of organizations aiding relief efforts in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as the country continues to manage effects of eruptions of the last Sufia volcano. Chief Representative of the St. Lucia Office, JICA, presented a supply of blankets and water tanks to the Sister Isle. The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, is facilitating the shipment of the donation. Uh, and uh, we would like to express a special thanks uh, for uh, to NEMO uh, in the government of uh, the Central Asia uh, to, uh, to, the, uh, kind, to provide us with uh, kind support to deliver the uh, goods uh, to uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I really appreciate the uh, your support uh, of uh, the uh, NIMO. The acting deputy director of NIMO, Lindy Eristi, says the Japan International Cooperation Agency provides continuous assistance to the National Emergency Management Organization. Not only at this time in the provision of supplies, but also in providing training to our fellow solutions as well as the volunteers, and also in, 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 in terms of provision of the various skills and, and, and technical training for persons in St. Lucia. We are very appreciative of their efforts and their continued collaboration in fine-tuning our national emergency organization and also making St. Lucia more empowered in terms of building resistance, resilience, as well as ensuring that we are able to manage our country in the event of any disaster in, in a state of preparedness at this time. The National Emergency Management Organization thanked JICA for their continued support. From the Government Information Service, Hermadi Mark reporting.
The winners of the Poetry and Poster Competition as part of activities for Francophonie Month have been announced. Activities were held under the theme, Francophonie Women, Resilient Women. It sought to highlight the challenges faced by women and to celebrate their strength and resilience. National correspondent Marcia Symphorian Laurent said that despite the constraints of COVID-19, the program of activities for the month-long celebration was successful. The theme is quite fitting for today's activity because you two students have demonstrated great resilience in the face of the pandemic. You have had to deal with the impact of COVID-19 on your education. You have had to transition to online learning, physical school, back to online learning, back to physical school. And you have done all of this with so much grace. And in the midst of all of this turmoil, you took up the challenge to participate in the Francophonie competitions that were held this year. And for this, I want to say well done and thank you. You have demonstrated great resilience and I am proud of all of you. Your creativity in poetry and in drawing was remarkable and I congratulate all of you. Ria Philip, Louisa Lewis and Ayana Saul were the winners in the poster competition, while Kanigi Paul, Kiana Charles, Maya Fosswa and Tisa Dorville were the winners of the poetry competition. The Regional Councillor for Cooperation at the French Embassy stressed the importance of language. The Francophonie is just not one day, it's not just one week, it's not just one month, it's every day. It's learning a new language, becoming better in the language, and also learning about another culture and the values associated with this language. Francophonie Month was held in March. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Stay with us when we return the latest weather report.